Yeah. What time? It's live too. Uh, it's, it's recording that live. So. Oh, okay. Nah, nah, you can do it. All right, Shalom, first and foremost, like you all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. The bonds of apostle elders, great millstone, peace and salutations. To you, Cecil, I keep pushing his words, sincerity, truth, and charity. Rob. This is Ramakia. This is Zakia. This is Brother Rafael. Yeah, Lord willing to be quick on pretty much how, how this, um, in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have our own space again, man. Because it's going to give you the reasons why building house to house sucks pretty much man you know and as you see behind us this is house to house man y'all all close to each other man your neighbors only an inch away from you man all right or you live in an apartment building next door that's all for really man you supposed to have our own land our own space man yeah. you know building house to house you get to hear your next door neighbor fucking or your roommate first and foremost he saw only these jobs don't give you enough money to live on your own so now you gotta have roommates to pay the damn bills and the rent and stuff and then you're really the roommates y'all getting on each other's nerves man because you're too close too close together man shit yeah, shit you hear your next room snoring you can't get no sleep <laughs> he gotta get up in the morning go to work you might have a day off he, he making all types of noise you can't get no rest he bring his girl over have sex, she next door, you gotta hear her up morning and stuff. Yeah. You know? Shit is bad. So you gotta you gotta take a shit, he's in the damn bathroom. Your your girl's on period, you gotta still be next to her. So really she supposed to be far away from you, but yeah. she's on period, man. These are the reasons why that house to house is is just garbage, man. And in Kingdom of Heaven, we're gonna have our own space again. Yeah. We're gonna have our own you got something. Yeah, I got that Isaiah 5. Yeah, go ahead. And eight, it says, Woe unto them that joined house to house. Yeah, woe means destruction. Who joined house to house? He saw Edom, the devil, man. He, he set this up, man. Got everybody bunched up in one area, man. Yep. You, 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 for brothers who travel, you know it's plenty of space, man. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. plenty of land out there, man. When you travel, man. Mm -hmm. He it, saw got all this land around you, everybody in the, in the, in the middle, bunched up, man. Yeah, you see, like, when you get on the airplane, you see, like, you know, because, uh, you know, the major cities, they're all lit up by the lights, yeah. you know, say if you're traveling at night. Yeah. You see the major cities, they're all, like, you know, lit up, and then you just see nothing but just space and space and space yeah. and space. Then you might see, like, a, a few towns here or there, you know, little yeah. lights here and there. Yeah, but you see how much space there is, man, and then in, in the daytime, you can just, you know, you see it, too. You're just, like, looking at it like, wow, man, all this inhabitable land, but, you know, we got to be, you know bunched up like this like yeah. like little caged animals and that but that's Esau's nature because he was caged up in those uh caves. in those caves man yeah. you know yeah so he just got this kingdom set up I I don't I you know he got the concrete ground with them caves you know had that concrete got downtown you look from distance it look like mountains hell these houses are mountains man. Yep. Mm -hmm. it says uh they lay field to field till there be no place and they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth. Yeah, midst of the earth. All this area, he, he bunched up in, the, in one area, man. Everything surrounding you is none but plenty of damn land. Man. And that goes into him, too. The reason why he does that is because he wants to have control. Yeah, control of the earth. He, yes, wants to, uh, yeah. he wants to keep tabs on you. Yeah, exactly. he, want, he wants you to, because if we had our own space, then we would have our own fields to grow crops. We would have yep. our own uh, land cattle. for our cattle, yep. and, you know, in our livestock. And he doesn't want that. He wants you to be dependent on, on him. him. Exactly. Hey, get that off uh, Genesis the thirteen. Like Abraham had his rich cattle. That's okay. your best part of your riches, your cattle. How are you going? The only way to have cattle yeah, is you got to have your own land. You got to have your own, you got to own your own land, man. You know. And like you say, you got everybody bunched up so you keep tabs on you. Then that's part too. That's part of his. Uh, he want to exterminate people, man. Yeah, he so wants so. With the easiest way to take out a large number of people, you got them all bunched up. You just bomb a town. Now you got rid of a thousand people right there. Yeah. Like that, quick. Yep. Righteous. You know? So that makes it easy for them to kill off a large number of people. That's no reason why I get everybody all bunched up, man. You just take out a neighborhood with drones or whatever, get a good thousand of people like that, man. Easy. This is Genesis 13 and 1, and Abram went up out of Abram Eden. Abram was Abraham. 
he was called Abram then. So you guys named Abraham was father of multitudes, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's And Abram went up out of Egypt, he and his wife and all that he had, and lot with him into the south. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. Yeah, we're supposed to have silver and gold. And guess what? This this money that you people believe in, you got these damn Edomite, dead, dead Edomites on it. The Egyptian pyramid, oh, it's proved this in Egypt all over again. Right. All right. That's not real money. It's not even backed by gold and silver. It's unjust, unjust uh, measure. It's like, uh, you know, they got this, that game Monopoly. It's a, that, that game is literally mocking you uh, peons, man. Yep. Because it's literally paper uh, uh, money paper that has, money. that's not backed by anything. It's, 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 and, they, and these elites, which that guy, that character is a Rothschild. Yep. And then they're laughing at you or a Rockefeller or whatever, you know, because the Rock, which are the same family because of the Rock, the Rock uh, Rockefellers are just the American counterparts uh, of uh, the Rothschilds, which live in Europe, man. You know? Yeah. And they're laughing at you. They, you know, he's got the cigar in his hand or in his mouth, you know, got the, the top, cane. Okay, top hat. Top, that's how they dress, yep. too. You know, and they laugh at you people because you're 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 you're, you're running around in the uh, endless circle, man. Yep. You know, rat race. Yeah, rat race having to pay them. Yep, exactly. With, with the fake money. Yep. Yeah, yeah, not the money. That's literally what this money is, man. It's not bad. Real money is is gold and silver. Man. Cattle, like you said. Uh, cattle, cattle, yeah, that's yeah. all you're rich. And like I said, you gotta have your own land to have these things. Yep. Cattle. Yeah, you need a lot of space for yeah. uh, for to have a, a livestock. You need a lot of space, man, because they need, you know, uh, vegetation to eat. They, they need uh, a spot to use the washroom, okay? A spot to exercise because you just can't have the, uh, your animals cramped up, yep. okay? Because, you know, that, 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 uh, that meat and all that stuff, because, you know, obviously, you know, you're going to, you know, eat them at some point. That, that muscle is going to be, you know, it's going to be terrible, man. Yep. You know? Yeah, 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 a lot of space, man. Which most sides going to uh, uh, give us that back, man. This is part of the hell, man. Yeah, you gotta have yeah. these house to house. Everybody all bunch like like, yeah. like like this and shit. Shoulder man. to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder, all that crap, man. You gotta have roommates, man. Yeah, yeah like how we were talking about before the camera. First off, the houses are bunched together, but then now they turned them all into basically apartments, and now it's so bad out here that you have to have roommates in your apartment. Yeah, you yeah. have a two bedroom, and you have to have a roommate. You gotta have a damn roommate, man, shit. You have, have your favorite, Favorite um, box of snacks, and he eats them up, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's no order in the house. Man. Exactly. Shit. But that's what goes on, man. Because yeah. you don't, you got that. Uh, hell, you, you, even crazy, even man. if um, you want to have time yourself, somebody always in your damn face, man. Yeah, like even like out here in the cities, man. Yeah. You know, you might you might want to go outside, just take a walk to get you know some fresh air, so to speak, and clear your mind out. It could be a, you know, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, and all of a sudden you got somebody walking, uh, uh, you know, across from you. Now you're like, God damn, man, I can't even think. Yeah. Now I got to worry about this, this asshole, right. bro. He, he's doing weird shit, man. All right, you know you gotta, I got to watch out for him. <laughs> you, should, you, try, you, you try to do a lesson in the park, but we can start walking past and stuff. Right when you try to do a lesson, man. It's yeah, like, man. no peace, man. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right when you start doing a lesson, yeah, but we just want to come by, walk their dog, yeah. and... Like this, like the last lesson, those little kids were trying to wave at us and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, come on. I was saying about like, yeah. the children and Elijah, the bald head, you bald head. Yeah. I was like, man. No yeah, like, yeah, yeah, kind of like you, uh, like you said, you can't even think straight because you got people, you all bunched up. Like I said, you had your own land. If you want to take a walk and think, you'll be by yourself, man. Yeah. You had to, ain't nobody going to be around, man. Oh, and, yeah. And like I said, man, you, uh, your woman on a period, you can put her away. You know, Absolutely. you ain't got, you got, got to still sleep in the same bed as her, even though she, when she on a damn period, man. This shit just horrible, man. It's terrible, yeah, it's fucking horrible. Yeah, this ain't living, it's surviving only. It's not living. Yeah, this, this, this is one living. of the many reasons why this so-called white man, Esau, eat him. The most I got to take him out of root shit, man. Because everything completely yeah, upside yeah. down, out of yeah, order, yeah. ever since he's been ruled. I'm going to get proud of it. I'm going to get proud of it. This is Isaiah 10 and 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and write grievousness which they have prescribed. You know, that word that we know means destruction. Whoa. You described, you prescribed all these unrighteous decrees. 
living next to each other, yeah, you know, them, yeah. defiling food, defiling the land. Yeah. You have totally uh, uh, did contrary to what the Most High uh, wanted somebody in rulership to do, man. But you still, you want the Most High to deal with them. Yeah, you ain't well, you, you following the Lord's <laughs> instructions, man. You about doing what you want to do, man. But you still want the Most High to, to deal with you, love you. Still, you angry because the Most High rejected you. Of course he's going to reject you. You don't follow his ways, man. Real evident. It's real two walk together, yeah, unless they be agreed. agreed. Yeah. That's why the garden the same thing. Oh, well, you should not surely right. die. What the thing he said? If you touch it, you gonna die. What exactly. the fuck are you talking about? You know, I think, <laughs> right, exactly. I think of stuff like that. This makes me perfect my hate towards this goddamn devil, man. Because yeah. he's fucking, you a joke, man. You a piece of shit, man. Yep. Then, then you can't even, like, say, you're like, you know what, man? I'm gonna try to go build my own house in the middle of nowhere, right? Yeah. Th th this guy will somehow come and find you yeah. and lock you up. Right. Dang. Oh, right, right. Oh, he'll well, find we, you. Yeah, he, he, no, he'll lock you up, man. Yeah. He'll lock you up for he, trying oh, to do that. Oh, well, yeah. you didn't get a uh, building uh, permit. Oh, um, you didn't, you know, come to us to say this is okay. Yeah, you got to get, yeah, yeah. Laws, right. man. A righteous decree, uh, like you said, bro. You got to get his permission for everything. You even got to get his permission to travel, man. You got to have a damn license. What do you, you call that, man? Oh, man. Why this can't I just guy. buy a car and just go wherever the hell I want to go? You got to get this damn devil, devil's permission to travel. Yeah, did they when they when we were riding when we were horsebacking? Did you need a, a license to ride your horse everywhere nope. during the what was it the uh, the Wild West and all through, all through the ancient world? It was horses world being used. Did they did you do it? Was it a license required for that? People are the damn devil, man. You decree unrighteous decrees, man, and it's not all the things you do. It's not scriptural, so it's it's just all this shit coming out of your own wicked, vain mind, man. Yep, you ain't he's so wicked. He don't follow his own laws. He, he prescribed. He don't even follow his own. Instructions, man. Oh wait a minute, there's a loophole right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. So I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, man. Fucking asshole. Yeah, he's yeah, he's a definition of an asshole, man. Yeah. Guess what, most I, he, he gonna be, man, he, man most I gonna be the big asshole, bring you damn devils down, and have that foot sideways up your ass for a thousand years, man. Yep. Before he get rid of your ass for good. Anybody else? Yeah, that's like it. This Proverbs 11 and 1, a false balance is a, is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is a delight, you know? And with all that land, that inhabitable land, you know, and us being bunched up into these cities, man, that, that's just, that's out of balance, man. I mean, we should be spread out, you know, have our own space where we don't see or even hear our neighbors. You know? that's why, right, that's why people, because you be wanting your own time sometime, man. Absolutely, that's why you. Yeah. A lot, a lot of people you agitate because somebody always fucking around, man. You can't even think straight. Man. Yeah. That's why, like, you know, people, uh, and it's, there's studies on this. People in city, uh, cities have a, a, what do you call that, um, their life expectancy or whatever is that, uh, is lower than somebody that, that uh, lives in either the uh, suburbs or, um, uh, or like, you know, yeah, the country, the rural areas, all right? And why is that? Because it's slowed down. As the brother, the elder brother said, you don't have to... Uh, uh, you don't have to worry about people being around you. you if you want to have a, a party, you can party. You don't have to, uh, 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 you know, sh sh shut it down. Yeah, that's or if you, thing, you right. know, if you want to get some rest, you can get rest. You know. Yeah. It's supposed to be like that, man. It, for Esau, the way his system is, is designed, is for everyone to suffer, man. It says in the uh, in the scriptures that the tender mercies of the uh, wicked oh, are cruel. cruel yeah. Yeah. He thinks that this is okay. Like, okay, I'm giving you something to live in. But this is cruel. No one's supposed to be living like this. Damn yeah, cardboard you know? box. That's what he, pretty much what it is. A cardboard box. Yep. A little fucking cave, man. Yeah, like, little, right, little like entrance, man. Right, like I said, you want to have a party. You know, Jake Natchez is a liar, old man. You want to have a party, have a good time. You got to keep your tone down to your next door neighbor sleep. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be a problem if you had your own damn space. If you had your own space, if he's like two miles down the street, he wouldn't even hear you having a party, having a good time, man. Yep. He can get his little rest, his or her little rest, and you can just enjoy yourself, man. Hey, I got this for you. Uh, Psalms uh, 82 and 5. They know not, neither. Hold on a minute. It's a lot. Yeah, I'll just get, get the point. Psalms 82 and 5. Deli um, Psalms 82 and 5. They know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. That's part of this being out of course. This house, house yeah. shit. It's not natural. It's not natural, man. All right, for people to be bunched up like this. Right. You know, we, yes, we did have gatherings, you know, in the ancient world. But after the gatherings, what happened? You dispersed and go back to your home, man. 
All right. You didn't. That's why going back to what you said. That's why everyone's agitated. That's why everyone's on edge. Everyone's got that uh, that uh, that you know that that, that kill spirit on them. You know, sloppy for the lack of words, man. You know. God. This place is a, this uh, this kingdom is all about oppression. Yeah. You know. Devil. Well, then you know when Mosai when Mosai says for the devil, when it's, it's time for his judgment to come. He now he wants mercy. Well, oh, motherfucker, when you're in power, you, you never showed no mercy. Man. man, I just told the brother to get the James 2 and 13, God. man. That's the spirit. All right. You never showed no mercy when you're in power, man. But now you want mercy? You fucking hypocrite. You're not going to get mercy, not because anybody pick on your red ass, because you never showed no mercy, man. This is why you're not going to get mercy. It's only, it's only right, man. That's crazy. You got it. Uh, sorry, yeah. Almost there. Yeah. James 2 and verse 13 for, sh for he shall have judgment without mercy that has showed no mercy and mercy rejoices against judgment yeah so that's plain to a point you show no mercy you're not going to get no mercy and two thirds not going to get no mercy either in Jacob's trouble so they just like they father the devil man they don't show no damn mercy either man I'm talking about two thirds you Negroes, Latinos made miracles I'm gonna call you that because you're not Israelite, man. That's right. That's right. Same as your damn daddy Esau either, man. You don't show no mercy either. Man. That's why you're not gonna get mercy when all hell breaks. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good yeah. yeah. I was trying to find you. What are you trying to look for, bro? Uh, I can't really feel how it's worded, bro. It's something about oppression. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Will anybody have something while we try to find that? Yeah. Yeah. It's not coming up on my phone. What's the word? You can't find it, don't worry about it. You guys got Isaiah 24? Don't worry, he's this is, uh, this is Isaiah 24 and 4. It says, The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languishes and faded away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. They changed the ordinance of how the most I wanted these, this earth to be, man. Yeah, which part of that is having your own land. Yep. Yep. Having your own space. No, you, don't get, you don't get that here. Man. You gotta have neighbors. Roommates and all that shit. That's not scriptural. Not scriptural at all. <laughs> you got grown ass men staying with their mom. Not that that not, not because uh, they want to, but because they don't even have no damn money to move out on their own. Man. Whatever job they work, they ain't paying them good enough. Man. Yep. So they they fought to stay with their mom. Yeah, yeah, you got people man. that was living on their own. They had to move back with their mom. Yeah, you have, uh, uh, I saw a report, like, it was maybe, like, last year, maybe, like, a year and a half ago that I saw, and basically you got a lot of these, you know, 40, 50-year-olds that were once uh, owned their own homes, they, you know, once were, you know, by the, you know, selves and all that, they're moving back in with their parents because they're losing jobs and all that stuff, you know, they're getting laid off, and the jobs that they're getting now, they, they, you know, their pay cuts, like, half, you know, what they were making, so... They, they can't afford the mortgage and stuff like that, man. We're talking about people who are 40, 50 years old, man. It's crazy. And it, it just keeps uh, 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 going up, man, these uh, uh, these percentages, man. You know, and that's because they, 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 we're at the downfall of this kingdom. Man. Exactly, that's all people are doing, you know. We at the end of Esau's leadership. All right. That's right. And it's rightfully so, man. Most I got to put in this, man. You see behind me. This is the neighborhood right here. This is an example right here. This house to house, man. All right. Even if you don't live in the same same apartment or house, your ne the next house next to you, you can hear everything what they're doing. Yeah, I can hear the people downstairs that, that live below yeah. me. That shit sucks. Yeah. Or next door. Hey. You can. See, hey man, you can see. <laughs> hey man, you can see. Hey, Esau's. You can, you can see what they doing. Your next door neighbor's doing, man. 
especially he saw him because he he, he, he like to have his windows open any damn way so you can see where the hell he's doing, man. I remember um, this this is back in the world, man. Um, and back in Milwaukee, uh, you know, my auntie and them lived out. They lived in the Edomite neighborhood. Man. This devil would be in the basement, jacking off, man. Yeah, and, and you could yeah. see him too. Yeah. You don't have yep. no curtains on in the window whatsoever, man. It's like, man, you you know people can see you. Be you know, you got the fucking fucking weird on the freak, man. Yep. Profane. Profane. Yeah. I saw it too. I got one. This second Ezra's 11 and 39. It says, Are not thou it the remainest of the four beasts whom I made who I made to reign in my world, that the end of their time might come through them? And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were past, and had power over the world with great fearfulness, and over the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression. That's and part of oppression, man. Yep. The house to house. Yep. And so long time dwelt he upon the earth with deceit, for the earth hast thou not judged with truth. And that's talking about the Roman Empire, but this is the revised Roman Empire. Yeah. You know? All over. You know, that beast that uh, the deadly wound was healed? Yep. Same thing. So he's doing the same exact thing. It's still part of the fourth yes, beast, man. Because it's the same spirit's coming back, man. Yep. The Romans were Edomite, Edomites were ruling. They are ruling the day, doing the same shit. Nothing new on the sun, man. Yeah. All right. That was good on that. Yeah, man. So, there's no the house, house. Can't even have no peace. Everything's noisy around you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Going in line, you yeah. trying to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> or you, or you, you just want some, some peace. When you some peace of yeah. peace and quiet. Yeah, some children, man. They they're making noise, and they need to run around because they're children. Yeah. They have nowhere to play because then you're afraid to let them outside because oh you got pedophile freaks and kidnappers, man. Yeah. So you can't even let them outside. You know you can't rest. You know enjoy a nap or whatever. Because you're afraid that, you know, oh, well, if I don't have my eyes on them, they're going to be, you know, abducted. Yeah. You know, he, by, he saw you, man. He does, man. He abduct, abduct the children, sacrificing them more. Man. Yeah, they're the, they're the ones who are most uh, heavily into it, man. Yep. But all these nations, too, man, because they're into, uh, what do you call it, uh, um, that, uh, that organ, uh, um, selling, selling the organs into the black market. Yeah. They're heavily into that stuff, man. You know? It's a demonic society that we live in. That's why we need deliverance, man. Yeah. Is this society is so corrupt, so polluted, and demonic that it, it, it's like, it, man. It's only it gets worse yeah. and worse as time goes on. Yeah. This, this place is terrible. It's worse and worse, man. That's how you know we're at the end. He saw he's a rule, man. Y'all shot on the way back. These other signs look look for him. Wickedness is just out of hand. Now. So both sides gotta be coming back soon to put an end to this, end to this man. Alright. So um, that, like give all praise and honor glory to you. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakak Wadash. Yahweh Bashem, Apostle Elder, Sweet Lip, Great Millstone, you know, Peace Salutations, Teach the Sock and Push This Word, The Sincerity, Truth, and Charity. Let's say Shalom. 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 Shalom.